Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. <sighs> Taking a nice drive around Madagascar here. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here, I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor, you still do a lot of traveling these days. I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. Yeah, I was telling Nathan, it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of Hot Cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I relate with that, man. Not much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4 by 4 Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. Would you look at that? A secret cave behind a waterfall. Gentlemen, we are on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? <laughs> so, Victor, how is it that you know King's Bay so well, huh? Well, first time out here was for a swap. Stolen diamond. <laughs> you went bad and I got arrested. Bribe the police chief. Again, of course. And in the process of negotiating the bribe, we, uh, we hit it off. And I made it a point to come visit every weekend. Oh, my mistake. It wasn't like that. What do you do? Died. He moved to Brazil. It's been a few years. A note. June 2nd, 1702. Captain Harrison, it has been three days since you and your regiment set out for the towers, and our hopes that you might find and apprehend Captain Avery have dwindled along with our supply. Discovering this pirate hideaway after years of false leads bolstered the confidence of my men, but after three days of cowering in this damp cave, they grow restless and fearful. They do not wish to starve here, or worse, return to King's Bay empty-handed. Therefore, in direct defiance of your orders, come morning we shall take what supplies and armaments we can carry from this place, and head to the towers ourselves. There, by God's good grace, we shall capture Avery and bring him to face justice. God willing, we shall rendezvous with you there, Lieutenant Sherwood, 4th Foot Regiment, under license of the East India Company. Th this is still hella funny. Oh, actually, wrong way. Turning the pee the wrong way. Real beef, my ass. <laughs> All right.
Really? All right, let's get moving. So, you find anything, kid? No. What a rip off. A little warning next time. Yeah, it's the first time in years I've had two showers in one day. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Rickety bridge. Uh, this looks promising. Ouch. I felt that one. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Don't drop us. Hey, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on right now. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. That bridge was definitely rickety and unstable from the get-go. Nowhere fast. You need traction here. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. <laughs> I'm gonna scout around. Ah, love this weather. Yeah, a bit humid. <laughs> it's not Panama humid. Yeah, it's all relative, I guess. <laughs> Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off road. It might rain, might be muddy. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? Ah, shit. I'm, I'm, like, going the wrong way. <laughs> uh... Thanks, Naughty Dog. Alright, hang on tight. Ow, oh, son of a bitch. Hey, take this slow. Yeah. yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Ooh, damn. Alright. Jump this real quick. 
go up, upward, onward. Reminds me of the Grand Canyon. I've been there once and hoping to go there again. Sam, look, it's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains. <sighs> that don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for them. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. <sighs> huh. Bark stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? No, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. Not sure yet. Ah. Okay. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> of course. Need the staircase. Oh, I let go of the winch. than it looks. OG Victor goddamn Sullivan. Alright, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See Sully? Winch, totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Well, you also gotta celebrate the small victories, too, brother. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, it's a lot worse than here. Taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, still taking a long time. Be right back. Hey, you see something?
ready, fellas? <sighs> All right, coffee, bro. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, happy hunting. Happy hunting. They're on an original playthrough. There would be a treasure here, but we already grabbed it. And plus, it's already saved. You guys didn't talk about me while I was gone, did you? They were talking shit, clearly. How oh, would you look at that? Shit, stop, stop! I see him. What do we got? <sighs> Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. <laughs> <laughs> 